This open source app called Tela is an app that helps you protect your sensitive files. It is great for when you need to document things like violence, human rights abuses or corruption. These videos, especially when you don't have internet. The app keeps everything encrypted so no one can access your data unless the app is unlocked. You can take photos, videos or audios directly in it or even import documents from your phone. You can also organize everything into folders and for discrete purposes, the app lets you change the app's name and icon to something like a calculator so it doesn't look suspicious. And it lets you quickly delete all the files in just a few seconds, you cannot even take a screenshot when the app is opened. In case you need to share the APK of an application you installed from the Play Store, Canade is a simple app that lets you extract APK files from apps installed on your phone. If you want to share an app with a friend but can't find it on the Play Store or if you are offline, it is easy to do with this application. You can extract the APK and share it through any sharing media. And with just a tap, it will extract the APK of the particular app to the internal storage and it works on any app installed from the Play Store or from other sources and even works on system applications. It works on most Android versions as far back as Android 4 and it doesn't have ads. It is fully open source which means you can trust that the app is safe. Whether the app is no longer available on the Play Store or you just want to share it without a link, this app will let you extract it. No root, ADB or Shizuku required. And the app has a clean and cool interface. Next is Green Tooth, which is an application that turns off Bluetooth automatically when you don't need it or you are done using it but you forget to turn it off. It helps you save battery and avoid security risks. So after your last Bluetooth device disconnects, this app waits for a few minutes which you can adjust in the settings and then shuts off the Bluetooth. It is a simple solution for people who forget to turn off Bluetooth manually and keep in mind the app is no longer being updated and may not work on some Android versions especially the newer ones. But if you have an older device, it can still be very useful. And here is a fun application, Sheepy Horn. This application plays the viral wah 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 sound when someone tells a bad joke. That is when you tap on it to play. And it is very easy to use, just turn up your media volume, press the button and the sound plays. It is perfect for those light-hearted moments when you need a little comic relief. The app is simple and does just one thing, but it is great for those awkward situations when your friend's joke falls flat. Next is this all-in-one productivity application called My Brain. It enables tasks, notes, calendar, diary and bookmark management all in one place. You can create tasks with priorities, due dates, reminders and even subtasks to break things down. The app lets you take notes using Markdown, which helps you organize your writing with headers, lists and links. You can also track your mood daily and see a visual summary of your emotions with charts. And for saving websites you want to visit later, it lets you bookmark pages from any app. It has a dashboard where you can see your tasks, calendar events and other important information at a glance. It is also very privacy conscious, which is great. This app called Setter is a search tool that combines many different functions in one app. You can search text across multiple platforms like Google, X, Reddit and even Chinese platforms like WeChat. And if you have an image, this app can do a reverse image search using Google, Yandex, Bing and other search engines to find out more about the image. The app also helps with translations, offering support for DeepL, Google Translate and more. Privacy is also a big focus for this app. It turns off location tracking and strips metadata from your images before uploading them to the search engines. It even resizes the images and renames them to make sure your personal data stays safe. You can also use private search engines like DuckDuckGo or StartPage directly through this application. Lastly, you might want to give this application called Great a try in case you want to try a different task and habit management application. You can create to-do lists and check off tasks as you complete them as usual and once your tasks are done, they are automatically deleted to keep things tidy. And speaking of tidy, the app has an awesome clean and minimal UI. It also has a habit tracker that sends you notifications to remind you of your goals. You can see visual habit map which lets you see how well you are doing, giving you a clear picture of your progress. The app has a modern and material 3 design that looks clean and easy to use. Go check these free and open source applications out and let me know which one you would love to use. Leave a like on the video, consider subscribing to the channel and as always, thank you for watching.